I imagine it with a lot more people living around here with um, you know shopping centres and parks and um, sporting facilities, busy streets and lots of people but you know very vibrant and a lot of culture. I can a lot more like kind of built up and suburban sort of. Lots of shopping centres and I guess like hotels and lots of companies and big businesses. Affordable housing stuff to do within walking distance, leisure activities, so sports stadium, that'd be something Toowoomba doesn't have but could have down the track. I'd love it to be more city-like with a real youth vibe, like Toowoomba's developing now with all the street art and I'd love it to have lots of entertainment, like drive-in cinema, uh, ice skating, things we don't have already. I think it's a really good move, especially for this area. Whilst this is an affordable area, it's also a fair distance from Toowoomba and I think mobility in terms of public transport and walking paths is really important. It'd be good if there was central transport to get around here and then also it's linked in to be able to get into the Toowoomba CBD as well. Land use and environment, I'm getting a good mix of them is, is always, I think, essential. Places where you can go and chill at a park where it's got barbecue pits, it's got a cool skate park in it, maybe a low risk water play park. I mean, who's to say we've got all this land out here, why couldn't we put something like a Disneyland in? I mean, we've got the opportunity to be able to provide transport, flights, land, so it's, that's the sort of thing that they're looking at. You know, developers looking at that sort of stuff as well. Everybody has a different view and, um, and that's some of the things that we need to think about. How we uh, think about creating areas that are new. It's, it's different reasons why you would want to protect some areas and you would want to urbanise other areas and they're some of the things that we need to think about. When I think of units and a lot of tall buildings I always think of the Gold Coast and the city. To me that's just not Toowoomba. If we want to go units, I reckon stay close, you know, to build two storeys kind of thing. It's not built up above, you know, your ten storey mark. It's low rise, but it's got character. It's, it's somewhere that people want to visit. It's somewhere that people want to live. Nina, you mentioned about having close-knit areas mm. and knowing who you live next to. With the acres and acres of land, lots of people don't know who's down the road. Whereas if we have closer knit houses, we can know each other. Talking about rural and privacy, like you'd still probably have that sense of privacy in that sort of a community, but yeah, when you come from a rural sort of environment, you're used to having acres between you and your neighbour. It all comes down to what type of privacy I suppose you want. I do love like living where I do because your yard is big enough to have privacy but it's also everyone's close enough to me to be like oh mum I'm just ducking around to her mates and she doesn't need to drive me I can just walk and it's safe. I love to live in Nanjing which is my hometown okay. like I love Toowoomba but like Nanjing I feel better like it feels like home living there because like I was born up in there and there's lots of places to go, to go and like the public transport is so easy, so easy to get to places. You feel relaxed, like you feel safe and yeah, it's easy, it's fun, it's entertaining. What would be really beneficial is if it is so close together that we can maybe don't have to use cars, we can walk or ride and have the paths to do that as well as public transport. That's much better for the environment than everyone driving to work and all of that. So I think that is really important. We can build a city the right way here without harming the environment. Because this is all about building something for our future generations. So by building it, we should also be careful not to be destroying their future too.